At Coolmore, we continually invest heavily in developing and maintaining our farms to the highest possible standard. To maintain a large-scale farm to the standards that we set ourselves, you need a large fleet of machinery that can perform a long list of diverse tasks, from harrowing and rolling paddocks at the end of the breeding season, to cutting, turning and baling hay in the early summer, to harvesting the crop of oats in the early autumn, and the moving of trees during the winter. All this machinery needs to be carefully maintained, and at Coolmore, we have a team of dedicated mechanics who continually service our machinery in a purpose-built garage, ensuring that everything functions as best it can. And while nowadays we rely heavily on modern technology and machinery, we also recognize that certain jobs are best performed using traditional techniques, techniques that previous generations have handed down to us, and ones that we will pass on to the generations that will follow us. And we know that from September to December, the best lawnmower to use on our land is not one that is pulled by a tractor. It is, in fact, a flock of sheep. Because horses are highly selective grazers, sheep are needed to eat down any surplus grass in a paddock. This will ensure a fresh, even crop of high-quality grass will grow the following spring and will prevent the development of areas of horse sick pasture. The way in which sheep's sharp teeth cut the grass also encourages new tillering, a process by which grass grows in a richer and more dense fashion. Sheep are light on their feet and therefore won't damage ground when it is wet underfoot. In fact, their tiny feet will actually help to repair land that has been poached or damaged by grazing horses. In so doing, they perform the job of a tractor and roller at a time of the year when the land is too soft for this type of machinery to be used. Their droppings also act as an organic fertilizer. All of this is geared towards improving the nutritional value of the grass that grows on our lands. This ensures that the mares and foals that are let out to grass during the following breeding season will benefit from pasture of the highest possible quantity and quality. It's just another step along the way in providing the young horses reared in Coolmore with every possible advantage.